Wednesday was a great day for unborn babies, for conservatives, for pro-lifers, anti-kill your baby people, the United States, and, you know, anyone who's not morally bankrupt. SCOTUS, the Supreme Court of the United States, after 30 years, is finally hearing a case that could overturn Roe v. Wade and begin the process of ending this great stain upon our collective ledger. So far, it seems like the pro-life side is winning, but I'm still holding some reasonable doubt here. Who knows? Maybe the miscreants, you know, taking medicine they don't need outside the building might just sway Chief Justice Roberts. But this still wouldn't be a full win. Don't get me wrong. I want us to win this one. But if we, as we'll touch on later, if this does go our way, all that would ensure is that states can make their own rights, own laws. Many states will still have laws on par with communist China, North Korea, and oh, the America uh, that we have right now. Yes, this is the company I want to be in. These paradigms of human rights. But in almost half the states, babies will have the right to life, which hopefully means that all the feminist harpies will move away and take their girlfriend. But honestly, this news has made me a little hopeful. I think you'll see that in the show today. Sure, we still have outrage stories like, I don't know, Remy the Respectful Reindeer and how he teaches five-year-olds that uh, biology doesn't matter. It's only what you feel inside that counts. And you, as a kindergartner, can be super hurtful to these strong warriors, these men and women of... Wait, hold on, can't call them that. Um, these non-gender conforming, analogously, possibly, maybe vaguely human beings? Uh, as, they're as strong as the heroes of old. Or maybe we can get mad at the casualness of crime, mostly in Democrat hard blue cities, and how their moronic bail policies lead to the loss of life, how they knowingly say that their incredibly brainless, mindless, and irresponsible policies lead to a parade being in turn to a mass casualty and terrorist event. Now that's something to be angry about, and something I will be angry about. But we're going to have a fun ending to the show today. We're going to make fun of cat moms in a story that, let's just say, you're not going to see coming. We're going to end up talking a little bit about a best-selling LGBT author. Uh, so that'll be something you won't see coming either. And that's it.